Hello everyone, as you can see, it's King Cadmos, and weirdly enough, um, I am back. I guess I just wanted to say to you, I guess I was sort of inspired by someone saying that YouTube, the whole YouTube is over stuff, YouTube is over party, and just to remind you that YouTube is not over, I took the opportunity to come back here. Because, you know, things are different now. So, and I finally have time to do this again, I think. So, here we are. Um, I'm doing something that I don't, I've not really done before, which is, uh, quizzes. And I am doing a quiz that I've never done before in a category that I have never done before. So, it's a new experience for me as well as for you. Let's see what fourth worth. Fort Worth, Texas had to actually let's not. It was created by a person's person perp by a sir sir serpent serpent whose name was Little Things. Little first name, little last name things. So I am going to figure out which kind of dog I am. Now another quiz said that I was a woman, so I'm not sure how accurate these quizzes actually are. But um they can be uh, interesting. So here we have a doghouse, but I cannot choose this doghouse. I also cannot choose any of these houses. I can either be uh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Carol, Christmas Shack. I don't. I don't even know. I can't even open the door because it's snowing inside and outside. Um, I can have uh, the swimming pool. I can have the swimming pool. And uh, is it a swimming pool or a water fountain or what the hell? I can live in a trailer and be a hobo. So this is actually from Modern Home Interior Design. This is from Tiny House Blog, a blog for hobos. So I'm thinking I'm going to pick the normal condo. What are you looking for in a best friend? That th First of all, that they are a human rather than a dog. Did I just learned that uh, 4.5 million people are injured in America alone. Note that there are only 310 million people in America every year. And 20 to 30 people are killed by dogs in America alone every year. So I do not want a dog as a best friend because... A dog is a domesticated wolf, and if you would not want a wolf as a best friend, you would not want a dog as a best friend. Okay, so even though they're supposedly man's best friend, which seems a little bit misogynist, before we even get to that, okay. So my best friend and I are definitely loyal to each other, but we know when to give each other space. Sounds good. It'd be great if you had a period at the end of that fucking sentence. Okay, uh, I never want to be apart. We do everything together. So, it's a little bit more on the closeness side, I guess. Uh, someone who I can be athletic with. We play sports together and go on adventures. Do I look like someone who is athletic? No, I do not. I, uh, though I do go on adventures in, uh, video games, um, Someone who always has a snack on hand. I do not need a friend to do that because I always have a snack on hand. In fact, here is a snack right now. Someone who protects me and comforts me whenever I need it. So, um, that sounds... These two seem like opposites, and I don't really want to choose from these two. But this is something that's universally... Like, I'm not really sure about either of those. The, the first two, I don't know why I'm pointing. You can't really see my finger or what I'm pointing to, at least. You can't see it in context, but, like, I don't want to... I, yeah, basically, someone who protects me and covers me whenever I need. If you could visit any time in history, which would you like to visit? I've always wanted to see the Roman Empire or maybe ancient Greece. Um... Uh, did you, did you know that, uh, okay, uh, so basically, there's some racism, misogyny, like, 
but there's no homophobia. That that's one thing they don't have in Rome or Greece. Like most, it was considered normal to be bisexual. Did you know that? Okay. In fact, there was one emperor, Claudius. He was basically seen as effeminate for being straight. Imagine that today. Okay. So that's I'd like I okay. I'd like to repeat that quote in English today. Okay. I'd love to witness the glamour of La Belle. La belle, la, la belle, la belle époque. I love European history. I want to stab that pretentious asshole, like shank him, cut him open, and basically turn him into a pair of blinds for my window. So, okay, so I feel... Actually, I'm rethinking that decision. I don't really want him representing my house. Okay. I think it could be fun to hang out with the bootleggers and gangsters of the 1920s. Maybe get shot, get kidnapped, I mean, I don't know, get arrested. I'd love to see how the pyramids were built, so maybe I'd like, like to visit the Aztecs or Egyptians. Fair point, maybe there are architectural techniques we don't know today. In fact, they had very good construction te techniques to the fact that we don't that some people are calling aliens on this shit. Like, they, we have no idea how they were built to such perfection, especially the Aztec ones. But the Aztecs had human sacrifice, and little, you may, a lot of it, and Egyptians did too. So I'm not sure that's something I want to do. Founding of America, there's some racism, there's some misogyny, there's some everything you could possibly want. And the Victorian era for more pretentious assholes. So I do either I want to be racist asshole, um, uh, uh, pretentious asshole, or I just want to get murdered. So I'm going to go with murdered, and I think I'm going to go with 1920s. Because another quiz said that I was a bootlegger, and that was my... The thing that I died for in my past life, so. It's Saturday morning. What are you doing? Either getting my hair cut or... Either getting my hair cut or looking for a cute new outfit. I'm probably working. Running errands, going to the doctor, and trying to be productive as possible. I'm obviously sleeping in. What do you want to do? I'll do what you want. Hiking, biking, jogging, or anything else that helps me get out some energy. ENERGY! Okay, I'm thinking sleeping in. That's what I did last Saturday morning. That's what I did today. That's what I do even on school days and be, be late to school. How would you describe your personal hair maintenance? I, ju I just do what, what I have to do in order to look presentable. I spend hours, spent hours getting ready every morning and my hairstylist is... Practically my best friend. If you said this and you are a guy, there's a 70% chance you are gay. Huh? I get up, comb it, and walk out the door. I'll pick the first one. Just be in the middle. Do you feel like people get you, or do you feel misunderstood? I feel like people know me pretty well. People definitely don't understand the real me. Obviously, eight of you unsubscribed from my channel. How would your friends describe you? They'd probably say I'm too clingy. I, I don't know what the fuck that means. My friends definitely appreciate how, how smart I am. That's me, pretentious asshole. My friends think I have a great, great sense of humor. My friends would say I'm loyal. They compliment me for how kind and helpful I am. They say I'm misunderstood. Uh, what? They know me as being very shy and scared. They have to encourage me to be brave. My friends would say that I have the patience of a saint. Uh, a lot of these are bragging, but still... <sighs> People... I, I am smart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm smart, okay? I'm saying it right now. What's your advice for living the best life possible? You need to leave behind an amazing legacy so that people talk about you for generations to come. Just like Adolf Hitler, uh, Stalin, Mao Zedong. Okay, 
You need to work hard, do well, and leave this world better than when you came in. These are, this is, clap. You need to find your significant other so that you have a best friend through life. You, you get that advice from Twilight. I am not a supporter of Twilight, therefore I am not a supporter of that sentence. It actually goes the other way around, too. You need to do whatever you can to get more snacks. Yes, high five to you. More snacks more equals more happiness. You live to be happy, therefore more snacks. You need to have lots of friends and live life to its fullest. Do you need lots of friends? No, you really don't. You've decided to renovate your house. Do you do the work yourself or hire someone to do it for you? Of course I'll do it myself. Do you know how much money I'll save? Are you kidding me? Of course I'm hiring someone. Um, I... I think it's fun. Like, DIY, DIY stuff? I Obviously, I don't really do that. I am a 16-year-old boy, but, like, it's cool. If you have any other job other than being a high school student, what would you want? Another job? I'd rather not have a job at all. I'd love to be a famous actor, famous, famous actor or actress. I'd like to open my own business. I'd like to be a nurse. I wish I could be a professional athlete, not me. I sometimes wonder if maybe I should have joined the armed forces. I think I'd like to work with kids. I think I could be someone's assistant. I think my glasses are dirty. Okay, um, give me a second. This is me testing YouTube's new policy by having some part two, two millimeters of partial nudity. Okay, so I think I could be someone's assistant. No, um, I'll be a famous... Actually, let's go with armed forces. It's nice benefits, and you're really, like, doing something for something you believe in. Like, that's really good. Pitbull, you know what it's like to be misunderstood. You love action, adventure, and you aren't afraid of a fight. But that doesn't mean that you aren't also loving, affectionate, and looking to be surrounded by your loved ones. People sometimes judge you by your cover, but those people are missing the chance to get to know... A truly beautiful person. Alright, um... My, something else also said my spirit animal is a pit bull. Which is bad. Spirit animals should be wild animals because you can have non-wild animals in real life. So, why would they be spirit animals when they could be real life pets, right? So, maybe I'm overthinking this, but... This is the part where I screenshot this and save it to my Microsoft Word of 5 million fucking things. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. And there we are. Uh, this video has been great. I would do another quiz, but I only have 13 more seconds, so I'm just going to say... Thank you for watching this, and thanks for all the fish.